The truck driver stated that uh, he was able to fend off Laquan, even if that happened, but the fact is he says that he was able to defend, uh, fend off Laquan with a cell phone and some gravel. He did not need 16 shots to get Laquan to go away. Laquan never attacked his wife. Uh, uh, he never touched him with the knife. He bent down to pick up gravel. Laquan never lunged at him when he bent down to pick up the gravel, uh, which is certainly a, 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 a position that he would have been in that would have made it very easy for a man with a knife to harm him. And Laquan certainly did not uh, do any of that, according to his testimony. It is an unjust ploy to paint Laquan McDonald as the perpetrator. Laquan McDonald is a victim. He is the victim in this matter. He was. He is not on trial. Uh, and if we're going to look at the background of, of anyone in this particular proceeding, it should certainly be the background of Mr. Van Dyke. Uh, today I just wanted to make an announcement that we had been contacted by the AG's office here in uh, Chicago and this Friday at 3 p.m. Uh, the doors will open at 1457 South Kenneth, which is the Grace Memorial Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, we will have uh, what will look more like a town hall meeting. Uh, it is from uh, my initial request when I made the first press conference uh, for the president at that time, President Obama, to bring a town hall meeting to Chicago. Uh, we're following that. Uh, after the AG's office contacted us and said that they would like to come out and highlight uh, some of the points, the high points of the consent decree uh, in which they are presenting to the judge, uh, I thought that it was a good idea to use this moment and this platform to bring as many of the community stakeholders and leaders. And so we are asking all of the activists to come. Uh, we want to thank God for uh, Mr. Uh, Reverend Al Shopton, of whom we talked to will, uh, and has consented to come out on Friday. So we're looking forward to his presence there. Uh, I have my team reaching out uh, to Cardinal Supich, and we're asking uh, that once they get this message, that Cardinal Supich would agree and would come out and be a part uh, of this particular event that we're having. I think that the Catholic Church uh, should weigh in at the highest level on this consent decree.